I'll just, hi, I'm Ariel Kaplan. Uh, I've been um, uh, programming in Ruby since 2014, which I guess makes that uh, six years now. Um, very much in love with the language and even more than that, the community. So um, it's it's really exciting for me to be, you know, part of the organizing team and, uh, and you know, involved in kind of rejuvenating the Ruby community here in Israel. I hope that um, as, as we go on, we're going to see our community grow and flourish and, uh, and you know, we can uh, uh, become great friends with each other. Uh, I'm going to really quickly, uh, here, how do I do this? Oh, cool. Okay, this works great. Uh, if, yes, allow that. Okay, um, so I'm not, I can't share my screen. Uh, Benjamin, I'm going to have to actually um, quit Chrome, come back into it. Uh, in order to share the screen for whatever reason, uh, if that's okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, I'm wondering if I can do without that because if if it's a Chrome, it's a Chrome tab. So I think I can actually do this without exiting. Uh, I think that's the one. So if I share this, yes, it works. Okay. If I enter presenter view, oh, this is amazing. This is perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just make this full screen. Cool. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly kind of introduce you to Cloudinary uh, in five minutes or less, um, let you know how uh, how we ended up being, you know, being part of uh, part of this meetup and, uh, you know, what, what makes us very interested, I guess, in, uh, in Ruby um, and, uh, and invested in it um, and why Cloudinary actually is a really interesting example of a Ruby app. So uh, here we go. I'm actually going to set my timer, so I actually keep to five minutes. OK, so what is Cloudinary? Um, we'll start with that. Cloudinary is an end-to-end -end, uh, service for digital media, basically images and videos. Uh, pretty much anything that you want to do, we can do it um, cheaper and better um, than you can and, and create great experiences for your users. So it starts with the image upload uh, process. We have a widget for that um, to, to do it really uh, you know, in a really smooth way for your users. Uh, storing the images securely and, uh, and efficiently. Um, we have uh, an, a growing uh, suite of features in our asset management uh, console. So everything from uh, obviously, you know, seeing your images, tagging, search, uh, access control, all kinds of things like that um, that, are, uh, that are really valuable to certain organizations. Um, image manipulation, this is where to me it gets really cool. Um, so you can basically just change, you know, add something into the URL of an image and get a different image spat out, and we'll see an example of that in just a minute. Um, but one way this is really useful is for responsive images. So essentially, you want to you know, present the right image for each device that your users are, um, are, are accessing your site. So you might want to present a bigger image on desktop, a tiny image on the phone, and then on a tablet somewhere in between. Um, and we can do this without you having to manually generate all those images, which can be a lot of work. Um, we also get into, the, into image optimization. So um, this, this can be something that's really very dependent on the device that you're using, the, the resolution that you need, pixel density, uh, the browser that you're using, um, the best quality image that you can give will be different sometimes for, let's say, Firefox versus uh, Chrome. So we handle all that so you don't even, you don't even have to think about it. Um, and the last thing is in terms of the delivery itself, uh, so we make sure that that your images are through our CDN partners are um, delivered in, as efficiently as possible from a server that's close to your users so that they get the, the fastest uh, experience uh, to, to deal with their their images um, that that can possibly be again because images are just the right size uh, just the right quality uh, without degrading their their experience and serve them as close as possible physically to where they are um, and by the way what we do for images we also do for video um, and uh, an increasing number of different file formats as well. Um, so that's basically what the platform is about. And the cool thing for our, our purposes of this meetup is that it's all built on Ruby and on Rails. Um, and so we have just like thousands of clients that are, or customers that are, uh, that are using this for, for managing their images and videos. Uh, you can imagine this is, this is, I would say, one of the, the biggest Ruby apps in the world. Um, and uh, and it's, it's right here in Israel. So, uh, you know, it's sort of like, it's almost embarrassing that, you know, there was not like a strong uh, Ruby community uh, here in Israel when like one of the biggest apps in the world uh, using R Ruby is, uh, is here. So we're very excited uh, that, that's, uh, that that's where, you know, this is where things are going. Um, I want to just give sort of a quick example uh, that I think would be very relevant for this group. 
which is this beautiful logo uh, for Israel RB. Um, how, how, how did we make it? Where did it come from? Um, and so if you look at it, you might start to think about, you know, how would I create this if I wanted to do it? And it's actually not, so, not as simple as you think, right? So obviously we start with the Israeli flag. Um, we want to add on a ruby and we also want to add in the color blue. And that's where it gets complicated because how do you take an image that's red and turn it into blue and you know, put it exactly in the right way? Um, so it turns out that it's actually fairly straightforward using Cloudinary. So the first thing we want to do is remove the uh, Magen David in the middle. Um, so what I did here is I uploaded this, uh, this flag to Cloudinary. I also uh, uploaded a single pixel, uh, just a white, single white pixel image. Uh, I tell Cloudinary to stretch that to uh, 650 by 650 pixels and then overlay that on top of the flag right in the middle. And so we get just the stripes, uh, but it's exactly you know, the right size, right proportions. Um, so that works pretty well. Uh, then we have to convert the red to blue. So uh, there are a number of ways to do this with Cloudinary. Uh, what I found out the best results was uh, our recolored uh, effect, where you basically define a mapping from uh, between red, green, and blue inputs and outputs. Um, don't worry about the syntax. <laughs> it's actually not that complicated, but I'm not going to explain it here. Um, so we got this, you know, blue version of Ruby, which I guess is now more of a sapphire maybe than a Ruby, but okay. Um, and then I said I want the image to be a little bit more, a little bit more crisp, a little bit more nice. I'm realizing I have flux on, so I'm going to disable flux so you can actually see this a little bit better. Yeah, that's much better. So um, you can see that, you know, it's not a huge difference, but uh, this image is a little bit, you know, crisper. The lines are a little bit easier to see. The triangles are a little bit easier to make out than on this image. Um, and now we have our beautiful Ruby Duo in the middle. And then uh, we just kind of use layers to, to put it all together. Um, and this is a single URL where based on having the right images in my Cloudinary account um, and then just applying these transformations, right, just by you know, putting together this URL, even if I had never generated this image in the past, I just request the image that I want with all the various transformations and Cloudinary generates it and sends it back to me. Um, and then, you know, let's say I, I get a call from France and they say, oh, we also want to you know, use the same kind of a logo, but we have a different flag. I say, great, I'm going to switch out the flag of Israel for a flag of France. And there we go. Different base image with the same transformations. And then I get a call from Ivory Coast and they say, oh, we want it too, but we want it to be green. I say, okay, I have to you know, play with the recolor a little bit and also change the flag. And now we have a green ruby uh, for their meetup. Um, and so uh, basically, right, the idea that you can define uh, a series of transformations for your, for your images. And again, the same applies to videos as well. Um, and, uh, and we can basically uh, put, put every image in our, in our uh, arsenal through the same transformation and, and get out, you know, and then, and then you can start defining transformations for, again, different screen sizes and different uh, device pixel resolutions and things like that. Um, it's super useful uh, across really a lot of verticals. Um, and so we have, you know, you can see there's very, very different uh, customer verticals that are powered by Cloudinary. And when you think about the scale that you need to uh, serve literally every ad that Tabula uh, puts on the bottom of a news site, um, you know, not to mention all of our other thousands of, uh, of customers, you, you, can, you can get a sense of what the scale that Cloudinary is dealing with. I mean, literally billions of requests per day. That's with a B, B billions, not M millions. Um, and, uh, and, and heavy requests, right? You know, requests that are asking us to do uh, massive manipulations to, to digital media. So uh, again, like one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest uh, uh, Ruby apps in the world, right? It's all built on uh, Ruby and Rails. And that's why I think it's like incredible, um, you know, that like the world needs to, needs to hear more about like the things that are happening on, on Ruby and Rails. Um, so uh, with that, again, we're really excited to be part of it, building this community. Um, please come say hi. We want to make more uh, Ruby friends. Um, for those of you who might be familiar with that hashtag, um, there's a Cloudinary table. Uh, I would love it if uh, if some of you would come and say hi, and uh, you know, and and please you know help us to build this community. And uh, as an aside, of course, we are you know like like everyone else, right? We're hiring. Uh, we would be happy to have you know more of you come and work on the, the again one of the biggest Ruby apps in the world. Um, but even if not, right, we still want to be friends. We still want to talk Ruby and, uh, and, and hear, hear what you have to say and maybe share some of our experiences as well.